Hey guys, Mark here. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a braided paracord belt. There are many different paracord belt designs out there, but very rarely do people use braiding as a method for making a belt. Usually they go with a cobra knot or a sled's rescue belt or a conquistador even, but braiding is more of an exception than the rule. This is mostly due to the fact that it is very hard to finish braided belts. You either need to back braid them, which requires significant effort, or you need to use a trick in order to finish it. If you just cut and melt, these finished belts do not look as they should. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make an entire braided belt. This belt is made using an 11 strand braid and you basically will need about 75% more cord comparing to the length of the belt. So basically if you're making a 4 feet long belt, you're going to need 7 feet of cord per strand. So with that said, let's get into the belt making and see the supplies that you're going to need. Here you can see the supplies that you can use to make the belt, obviously paracord. Then you can use a Spanish ring knot for the belt loop. I'm going to leave a link in the description you can use to tie this knot. Or you can just use a metal belt loop, which you can scavenge off an old belt, for example. You're also going to need a belt buckle. This one is a bit under an inch and a half wide. And to finish off your braid, you can use a belt end tip to make it look nice. You basically just squeeze this end onto the ends that you cut. As far as paracord goes, as previously stated, you're going to need about 75% more cord comparing to the end result. So for a 4 foot belt, you're going to need 7 feet of paracord per strand, naturally. You're going to need 11 strands and let's move on and see how this is set up. So you're going to see how to cut your cords. So here are the cords set up, 6 on the left, 5 on the right. As you can see, the cords are attached using cow hitches and then one is ran through the center of these cow hitches on each side. Since we only need five on the right, I use a little trick that securely places another cord, which is to basically pierce one end of the cord, run it through the cow hitches and then basically splice it into itself to securely add another strand. This way you can have five cords on the right and six on the left without fearing that any will slip out. Now let's move on to actually braiding this belt. To start, we're always going to work on the side that has six cords. On the left, we go under two, over three and to the right. Now on the right, we go under two, over three to the left. And again, under 2, over 3 on the left, going to the right, then under 2, over 3, going to the left, under 2, over 3, then under 2, over 3. As you can see, this is a very simple braid. But what we need to do at the start here is add a belt loop to it. The way I do it is to take my Spanish ring knot, you can also use a metal belt loop. Place it on top of your braid, then use the outside two strands on each side to secure your belt loop. So like this. And on the other side as well. and then simply continue with your braiding. So we have six cords on the left. We're going to start under two, over three. 
then on the right, under 2, over 3. And simply continue until you have braided the entire length of your belt. Once you have braided sufficient length, I used a couple of hairpins to secure my ends. And now what we're going to do is give our belt a beating by basically spreading it apart and basically stretching it out as much as we can in order to make the quartz lay nice and even. Just stretch it out, pull on it until it looks a bit more even. To secure the ends, you can simply cut them and then use a couple of belt end tips to basically secure the sides. For example, I would use two to make a triangular shape of an ending. Like this. And that would complete your belt. Now if you prefer a back braiding method, this is much more difficult. I will cover this in a future tutorial, but it is no easy task. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. Making belts is a very practical way to use paracord and allows you to wear an ample supply of paracord for emergency situations as well. In any case, thank you for joining me and see you next time.